The Grey Flats Ghost If you have ever been in the region of the Grey Flats Forest near the town of Beckley, West Virginia, then you will surely know what people mean when they refer to the place as eerie and haunted. According to the local legends, the most haunted part of the forest is located at an old farm right near the south end of the flats. Although people in the region believe an old, mysterious murder to have occurred there, Witness accounts of a group of friends encountering a strange creature seem to expand on the creepiness of the region. According to a group of friends that were hiking in the region a few years ago, as they approached the old farm on the south end of the forest, they noticed a strange figure in the distance that appeared to be a man wearing a long trench coat and a wide-brimmed hat. As they stood watching, the figure got much closer, revealing to be a strange black shadowy figure with no depth other than its darkened silhouette. One of the friends began to panic and had what appeared to be an asthma attack and quickly got out of the area and carried their friend away from the creature. As they made some distance away, they realized their friend was not having an asthma attack but appeared to have had an unexplainable allergic reaction to the creature when it approached. Although the event could not be accurately explained, it seemed to share odd similarities with other myths and creatures in the region. The strange shadow creature then gained the moniker of the Grey Flats Ghost. The Mystery of the Octavius Ghost Ship Back on the 11th of October in 1771, a whaling crew had come across what they had believed to be a ghost ship sailing nearby. The crew sailed closer to the ship and noticed a strange sight. The ship appeared to have been completely iced over with its sails torn and icicles protruding from every direction of the ship. This led to the captain of the whaling ship to order a boarding party to journey onto the ship and to assess the situation of what had occurred. It was at this point that the whaling crew became incredibly frightened. Upon boarding the ship, they described an impossible to understand sight as they realized that every crew member of the frozen ship was still on board, seemingly frozen in place. Their bodies were not in positions commonly seen when examining people of whom froze to death as they appeared to have been frozen in the middle of their activities. Even the captain of the ship appeared to have frozen in the middle of writing down a journal entry with a pen in hand. As the boarding party continued searching the ship, they became increasingly frightened and so quickly tried to grab the logbooks written by the ship's captain only to later realize the middle of the logbook had frozen solid and fallen out leaving only the first log entry and the last log entry for researchers to piece together what had happened. According to the logs, the ship had been stuck in the ice of the Arctic, leading researchers to believe that, somehow, the ship must have become dislodged and floated on freely, though how it would end up near the shores of Greenland will never be understood. The Witch of Bangalore Back in the early 1990s, there appeared to be a strange rumour spreading all across India that spoke of a witch walking through the streets after midnight, speaking in the voice of their target's mother as it would knock on the front door to their target's house in an attempt to get in. The rumours came to be known as that of the Witch of Bangalore, as it was believed to focus the majority of its time around the area of Bangalore and was the centre of the majority of its sightings. This led to many people being scared to open the front door to their house, if they heard their mother calling their name, regardless of the time of day. It was not until one genius Indian child came up with a brilliant solution that the rumours surrounding the sightings of the witch would quickly die down and prevent the witch from targeting anyone else in the future. The child claimed that if people wrote the works Nale Bar on the front door, a phrase that translates to come back tomorrow, then the witch would be forced to return the next night, only to see the sign again and repeat the cycle. This led to a wide number of people writing the phrase on their front door, leading to the continued urban legend to this day and the reason why the phrase might appear on the doors of residential zones all throughout Bangalore. The Black Volga Though the legend itself is not isolated to just that of the country of Ukraine, the story of the Black Volga seems to appear all across the ex-Soviet countries that served as satellite nations to the Soviet Union. The urban legend itself has seen many iterations, 
with some claiming a governmental conspiracy, black market crime, and even a supernatural presence entirely. According to the legend of the Black Volga, if you find yourself walking around town late at night, you could find yourself being stalked by a Black Volga vehicle that will attempt to coerce you into entering the vehicle or will send men to drag you in if you refuse. When inside the Black Volga, these men will then begin to harvest your organs to be used for others that are willing to pay a large sum of money to get a replacement organ. Some claim that the car had been driven by the KGB. Others claim mafias and criminal organizations as being at the center, and one such iteration claims that the person driving the vehicle is that of the devil himself, ready to gather the souls of those that are lost across Eastern Europe well past nightfall. The Black Bird of Chernobyl According to the residents of the town of Pripyat, there had been a number of reports and claims of a strange winged creature often seen flying over the town late at night on a variety of different occasions. In the case of the workers at the Chernobyl power plant, however, there appeared to be much more alarming reports that were provided. In the months leading up to the Chernobyl incident on the 26th of April back in 1986, the workers at the Chernobyl power plant noticed the same creature, reported throughout the town of Pripyat, hovering over the plant and sometimes even resting on the large towers and areas of the construction. What grew more perplexing for the workers were the reported number of incidents of which people often claimed to have experienced harrowing nightmares of the creature that would manifest into threatening phone calls from unknown numbers calling them all throughout the night. Many residents of Pripyat and the workers at the Chernobyl power plant often described the creature as resembling the shape of a man with wings and piercing glowing red eyes. This creature would later be referred to as the Black Bird of Chernobyl and, similar to the cases involving that of the Mothman, would cease to exist in the region shortly after the Chernobyl incident. The Chernobyl incident is known worldwide as one of the largest tragedies seen as potentially the most environmentally damaging of its time. Although it appeared that the governments of the world were ready and prepared when it occurred, the event still saw more than 50,000 square miles of land contaminated with radioactive fallout and being made completely unusable for the foreseeable future. Scientists today speculate that the site of the town of Pripyat and Chernobyl will not be habitable for another 20,000 years. It could very well be that the creature had been the Mothman creature widely known throughout the United States, as it was warning the workers of an impending doom that could have left a much larger amount of land completely uninhabitable for much longer. The Hauntings of Chernobyl The world is well aware of the tragedy experienced at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant back in 1986, but are not as well versed with the strange reports taken back in 1997 when researchers went back to the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in an attempt to uncover any further secrets or information that could help to shed some light on the tragedy and the cause of the explosion. A part of the small research team was a nuclear physicist by the name of Andrei Karzhakov that claimed a number of supernatural and explainable phenomena during his time investigating the location. He claimed that as he had entered the power station at roughly 7.30 a.m., he went to the number 4 reactor sarcophagus, the location in which the explosion had occurred, to try to piece together what had occurred on that fateful day back in 1986. As he was looking around and gathering information that could help him better understand what had happened, he quickly lost focus as he heard a man screaming from inside the reactor control room, claiming that there was a fire and that he was trapped. Karzhikov quickly ran to the control room opened the doors and went inside only to find an empty room with nothing around. He then told his colleagues what had occurred and they clarified that the doors hadn't been opened for over three years and that, had someone entered the room, the alarm would have gone off that indicates when the reactor door is opened mechanically. Other details of the report include floodlights suddenly turning on and then off again, strange sightings of moving figures, screaming and sounds of running as well as claims of strange power surges throughout the area.